Hey guys, so this video is a hair tutorial on this look right here. They're just really light waves and this is for short hair and I did this all with a flat iron so stay tuned to see how to do it. So first I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my chi and this is just a really cute um, heat protectant bag that I got and there it is. And here's the, I think it's like the standard chi. It's okay. I got it from Costco for only $70. And for curling, make sure you have a straightening iron that has um, that is um, rounded off at the edge in order to get that curl. And yeah, so I'm just going to plug this in and we can get started. And what's really great about having this um, heat protectant bag is it also serves as like a, a pad for you to lay your, um, for you to lay your flat iron on so it doesn't burn anything that you put it on so that's really good. As for the tools and products I'm using, aside from the chi, I'm using a comb like this and I'm also using the Tresemme heat protectant, the heat tamer spray. So while my iron heats up, I'm just going to take my hair down and what I'm going to do is just take my spray and concentrate on the tips of my hair. I'm going to do the top layer first, lift up some hair and do the bottom layers, just roughly. I'm not concentrating it too much on my tip, I mean on my roots, I'm sorry, mostly on the ends because that's where, ouch, yeah make sure your tangles <laughs> are out. So first you want to part your hair the way you want to style it. So sometimes what I like to do is I like to put a front poof. I'll just take some hair and I'm just going to twist that and push it up and instead of bobby pins I'm just going to be using clip just to hold it for now okay, because I'm not going to be curling this part I'm just going to be curling the parts around it so now that my chi is heated up we're going to start parting our hair so I only like to do two sections so I'm going to take section here and using a clip to just clip it back just like that and I have this bottom layer here and we're going for like a loose wavy look instead of tight curls so I'm gonna divide this bottom section into three so yeah I'm gonna take this back section Right here, take my iron, clamp it, hold it together and twist it outwards and pull on that and it gives me that curl. Just like that. And I like to take my finger and twist it the way it was curled so it retains that curl. And then I'm going to take this second section. Oops. Hold it, curl it back, and pull it slowly. And take that section and curl it. Twist it backwards. And these aren't the top layers, so what we're doing is we're just curling it, but not really worried about how pretty the curl looks and just pull it slowly and twist that back. I lied, I made it into four sections. <laughs> twist it backwards and pull that slowly and twist it. So there are the curls for the bottom layer. And now we're going to take another section and also clip that back with the same clip. This is another bottom layer and I'm going to separate these sections. Taking a piece from the back. Now we want to curl this going outwards. 
and pull it. And do the nice curl. I'm really not concerned about getting really, really precise sections, but so there it curls for the bottom layer. I'm gonna take that on this side and just to make sure I'm gonna comb it out again. And start from the back. Oops. So I'm going to take that and curl it back. And pull. Just do it. So now for the other side, I'm just going to do the same. First, I'm going to comb it out and start from the back and just repeat, curling it outwards. And make sure if there's some curls that you don't really like, that you can just redo them. I'm just going to redo this one here. Make sure it curls outward really nicely, just like that. So those are the front curls. And usually before I run my fingers through them, I like to wait for them to cool down. So they're not hot anymore. And just stay like that. And I kind of just like to retwist some of them while they're cooling off. Twist some sections. Make sure you're all twisting them outward. Okay, now that my hair has cooled down, I'm just gonna take Tresemme Simply No Frizz spray gel, and it smells really good. So what I'm gonna do is just spritz it really lightly, and I'm gonna scrunch it up. First, I'm gonna scrunch it up very lightly and then what I'm going to do is lightly put my fingers through it twisting it back just like this kind of putting those curls like all together you know what I mean because they're all going the same way so we'll kind of group them together there we go you see on this side the curls group together there what I'm actually going to do is take it out and grab that part right there and I'm gonna just tease it a bit so we want to make sure it's smooth twist it and push it I'm just gonna make a little X with my bobby pins right behind And there we go. There's the final look. Just like that. And it's really simple, really quick. And I also put the front poof, which is optional. But yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.